Hello and welcome to an exercise on exporting a WordPress site, importing a WordPress site, and playing around with different themes. We are going to get started by doing two things. First of all, I've got one site set up as the site that I wish to export. So to export, I'm going to go to my dashboard. Once I am in my dashboard, I'm going to come down to tools and I'm going to export. Now I want to choose to export all content and I simply click on download export file and it will begin to download the actual file. Now WordPress sets up into two different pieces. One is all of the content in terms of it's being tucked away in a database and then all of the media as well. So therefore this technique works well moving a site if the site is still active. Um, and I'll show you what that means here in a moment. Then the other thing you need to know is that there's a little bit of pain on the other side when you're importing that site back. You do have to go through the process of setting up your theme, your menus, etc. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to minimize this one and bring over this one. Now this is my new site. Let me go ahead and show you that this is my sandbox site. So I'm going to import my content in here. Now notice here I have not even set a home page because it's defaulting to nothing. If I have a home page, what I suggest you do, or if you have a home page, is I suggest you come into your pages and rename it quickly to be Home Sandbox or Sandbox Home, whichever you prefer. The reason why you want to do that is when you go to import the other site, you're going to end up having multiple sites, uh, or excuse me, multiple pages called Home. So to avoid the confusion as to which one's the new one versus the old one, rename this one now. Um, the other tip here is do not re-import the site multiple times because you will end up with multiple copies of the pages. If you find that you've done it incorrectly, go ahead and wipe it out, delete all of the pages and start over again. So I'm going to now reverse the process. I'm going to Tools and Import and WordPress uses a little plugin to do that. So I have to click on the idea that I'm importing from WordPress and it's going to ask me to install a little tool and I'm going to go ahead and click on install now and then once I've done that I have the option to activate the plugin and run the importer which I'm going to do and it's going to ask me where that file is that I want to import so I've navigated to where my downloaded file is I'm going to find it click on open and then I'm going to click on Upload File and Import. Now you can see it kind of grounding away. I'm going to tell it to download and import file attachments and it's going to ask me to assign a new author to uh, the uh, posts and pages. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and click on Submit. Now for your exercise you can export any site you have um, whether that's your instructional design site or your web quest or any other site that you have that you just want to get some content in there to play around with. That's all you need. Now once you are done importing you can come back to your dashboard just to get an orientation. I'm just going to give you a sense of what the site now looks like and um, don't get too nervous about the fact that it's going to look very very bad here at the front end, right? So this is the instructional design site as it is in production right now. Um, and here is the sandbox site over here. Now, nothing is coming up, no surprise. I do need to come over to my appearance, themes, and customize. And one of the very first things I need to do is at least set the home page. Um, so I'm going to go to static home page and I'm going to select Assignments 2016 and here we have the site sitting in a brand new WordPress 
but of course it looks radically different from what it is in production over here. So no big surprise there. Now notice that what I don't have is my menu piece here as I do in my regular site and I do have a whole bunch of widgets and stuff like that sitting over here. Now your exercise this week is to go ahead and import a site into your sandbox and then what I want you to do is I want you to make sure to know how to rebuild your menus. I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. Um, it does have all of my current menus in here because I imported them but here's the secret. I need to indicate to this theme that this is the primary menu right there. I'm going to go ahead and click on save that and then if I come back over here I should be able to reload it and now here I can see the menu is landing over here which in this theme is where that menu will land. Sometimes it's also fun to play with all of the menus that the theme gives you as an option just to take a look and see what it will do. I'm going to go ahead and reload this page and I guess this is what the little social uh, media menu looks like. It doesn't look like much here and I'm sure that somewhere in here is a place where we would go and uh, set up that social media as to what type of, of stuff that is. That doesn't make any sense for this particular menu. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. The next step to your exercise is to go pick a theme, install it, and try to play around with it. I'm going to split that out into two other videos, so I will see you in a moment.